Hi, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to explore looking at for different pages on Facebook. So every business, well, most businesses now have their own Facebook page. And it might be that you might be interested in following some of these pages or even celebrities that are out there. And to do that, we're just going to use the search icon, which is always the magnifying glass. So let me tap on that and let's have a think. So um, what have we got in Crossgates? Well, we'll start off with our page, Crossgates and District Good Neighbours scheme. So let me just go back. If I start typing, you can see how it's already bringing up all kinds of pages for the Crossgates area. Um, it's just it just automatically guesses what you're looking for and obviously the f the first one that's come up is our page there but you can explore these others people like these groups because they show old photographs as well but for now i'll tap on our page there and we're not actually on the page at the moment we've just got a little bit of an overview here it's saying that I've already liked the page, which I have done over there, but you can tap on where it says that like button there, that blue like button and like it and you'll see um, posts from our page. So let's, so that's how you, how you actually like a page. But all I'm going to do now is tap in the bold where it just says cross gates and district good neighbors, or I could tap, tap on the photograph and come on to our page here and again if I just scroll down so what you've got to remember now is you're no longer in your news feed you're actually on the page of um, our page having a look at all the items that we've posted what will happen is you may see one or two posts from our page appearing on your news feed but if you want to go in and see other posts or look back at you know posts that we've posted over the last week that you may have missed you would come into our page to have a look at that and just keep scrolling down and you'll see all the posts that we've added on here and that's how you can see what we've you know the posts that a business or anybody has created on their page but um, I just want you to be aware that you're on our page and not in your news feed at this particular point so you're only seeing posts from Crossgates Good Neighbours and um, again you can click on click if you see the blue like button give it a like and you'll see more posts from that page on your newsfeed but you can always visit a page separately um, as well is what I'm saying so let's just have a look at a couple of other pages so um, Let's have a look. One of the um, the butchers in the area, Wilson's Butchers. So I know that's a popular butchers in the area. You can see it's guessing the one I'm looking for, the uh, first one at the top there. And if that's the one that I want to look at, I can tap on it and it will bring up their page. So if you if you've, there's a local business or a shop that you're interested in, um, just do this and have a visit of the page. Click on like, you can send a message which we'll come to in later videos. Um, you've got all the information usually under their about section here, emails, telephone numbers on there, the maps of where they are. You can see we've got closing times. It's almost like a mini website really. If I tap on the um, arrow, it tells me all the times they're open and closed. Um, keep going down, we see all the photographs. Then if you might, as you scroll down, you might think, well, what, why are these on here? La Cantina, Zorbus. And you can see it's just suggesting related pages because again, Facebook's very good in um, encouraging you to like other pages and see posts from their page. And you may well want to, you can see there's a like button there on any of these. So if I tap on like there, it's going, I'll start seeing posts from their page as well. 
So it just guesses the kind of things that you might like to look at. Um, so again, if we scroll down the Wilson's Butchers page, you can see all the posts. You can see it tells you when they've posted, what date they've posted. And again, you can see the comments here as well. Um, but usually you have to click on the word comment, as I showed you before, to actually read the comments. So, for example, and this is only if you want to, but you can see there it says four comments. We can't see the comments until we tap on it like we did in the previous video. And you can have a read of the comments. Um, you can see it says there Wilson Butchers is replying. Uh, but you can't read, obviously, all of that comment unless you tap on it and it will open up. And that, that's obviously only if you want to. But that's how you read the rest of that by tapping on it. And again, we'll use the back button to go back. So I would encourage you just to find two or three pages in the area or businesses that you like or even um, maybe celebrities that you might follow. Um, let's have a think about um let's have a look yeah one of the celeb one of the um chefs gordon ramsay you can follow him for example and see pages from his page so if there's a particular celebrity or actor or even a tv program have a search and find some pages because it's all about you creating the news feed that's right for you so that you're getting um interesting things to read on your facebook news feed so let me click the back button. I'm going to go all the way back into my newsfeed. And that's what I try to do with mine. I only want things coming up in my newsfeed that I'm interested in reading. Um, and from the pages, friends and family and groups that I like. Um, because otherwise I'm not going to come on here and have a look at anything. So by doing that, you build a more interesting newsfeed for yourself. So that's, as I say, that's pages. We'll have a look at groups in the next video.